Johnny, that game had a little bit of everything, especially in that second half. 22 fouls, video review, and very chippy game there to close things out. But you were the man behind the set piece that then led to the goal to equalize in this game and walk away with a point. What kind of effort did this did this finale of this match take from this group? I mean, it took a, it took a lot. Um, we lost the goal from a set piece that... I mean, we pride ourselves better than that to lose goals like that. Um, and I think just throughout the game, we were probably a little bit sloppy in possession, especially first half, second half, we were a lot better. But just constant little fouls that break the game up, break the rhythm. Um, and, you know, I was, I was poor by my standards first half. So, you know, I needed to put it in second half and try and, and, try and do something for the team. Um, obviously, the, the free kick drops down and... You know, three of our players react quicker than any of theirs. So, you know, that's a that's a positive. Uh, the chances we created is positive, but I mean, it's disappointing to drop points at home, especially when you know at this point in the season we know what we're fighting for, what's at stake. So to drop points, it's uh, it's a little bit hard to take, to be honest. But what did you learn about your team tonight in this match, coming through all of the adversity in the last few days with everything going on at training? What did you learn as the captain about the group around you tonight? Nothing that I didn't know before. Um, we've shown everything throughout the season. Uh, you know, we've played some unbelievable stuff at times, completely dismantled teams. We've went to places like LA, ground out the, the win, showing that we can do it the dirty side of it. And, you know, the guys that step in, I thought Cam Duke was the best player in the park by an absolute mile today. Um, you know, Wilson, brilliant stepping in. Remy, Gaddy, just coming back from injury. And like you said, you know, a little bit of adversity, um, you know, missing out on a few key players, but that's why we've got the squad we've got. We've got the quality and depth. I've said it so many times, and that's why we've got it for nights like tonight. Um, it's just disappointing we couldn't, you know, cap it off with a win. I think we had more than enough chances. You mentioned that the, the fouls and, and the the chippy play breaks the game up a little bit. Daniel didn't mince his words when he said he didn't feel like San Jose deserved any points in this match tonight. What did you make of the way that your opponent played you guys? I mean, we know teams are going to come here and, and do that. Um, they played well at times in the first half. Uh, created a couple of chances, but we know teams are going to come in here and do that. Um, and why no one else can see that, that's what, that's what frustrates you. You know, just people selling themselves going to the ground before there's even contact and you know, getting the fouls um, I was trying to say that like you get punished for trying to stay on your feet so many situations we could have went down but we're trying to play the game the right way we always do we try and stay on our feet and we get punished for it um, the penalty you know I get straight back up he blows it so then I then miss the pen uh, miss the opportunity to get a penalty and an opportunity to get a shot off so just little things like that it just seems to Seems to go against us at home, um, and it is frustrating. Um, but you know, we've went to places, we've done the same thing. But it just seems to be a constant theme when when teams come here. Well, Johnny, congrats on the point, and good luck this weekend on the road against Seattle. Appreciate that. Thank you.